In this video, I want to discuss how I set up my PS5 in a cabinet with no, absolutely no ventilation. It had a, an opening in the front, but there's there was just a closed uh, panel in the back of it. So obviously not the best place for a piece of elect electronic equipment. So I'm gonna show you in this video how I used a couple of uh, AC Infinity fans, drilled a hole with a drill, and uh, installed the fans into my cabinet to keep my new PS5 nice and cool. So I currently have the, the Xbox Series X uh, installed this way using the same method that I'm gonna show you in the video, using a couple of fans that are pulling hot air out in the back. You can kind of see it there. I'm gonna do the same thing for the PS5. And uh, so I can have, can I have the, the consoles? So I'll have the, the Xbox Series X and I'll have the PS5 in here. Uh, there is no hole back there. I'm gonna show you how to drill a hole and you know install the fans in there. The PS3 is in there, it's not even connected. I just have it in there to, you know, just to put it somewhere. Um, this is where, how, where I have my PS5 right now. Not the best location. I think it, I always picture it having like the newest consoles that are so big in this generation, kind of like uh, flanking the other equipment standing up. I think it would look cool that way. So if I open those two doors, you'd see them. So that was that's my plan. So let me show you how I'm gonna do it. So if you wanted to do this for the Series X, there's a bit of a difference that you, uh, that you need to do. Uh, the problem with the Series X is that you, it doesn't. The USB ports are always on. So if I plug this, this the, the console is completely off. So if I plug in the USB port, if I plug it in, the, it's going to, even though the console's off, it's still gonna power the fans and you don't want the fans blowing all the time and just, you know, spinning for no reason. The cool thing about the PS5 is that the uh, USB ports are, uh, when the console is off, the, the, US, uh, the USB ports are off as well. For some reason, I guess the Xbox, they just wanted to give you the, the option of charging stuff on your Xbox, I guess. So it's the same procedure for the Xbox, but you're gonna need a, a temperature sensor that uh, you're going to need a temperature sensor that AC Infinity sells in order to get it to work here. And I installed it. Let me show you. See, I have a I zip tied a temperature sensor up to there, and that that just runs. Uh, that'll run the fans when the when the cavity or the cabinet gets to a certain temperature. There, you can see a good shot of the fans. This is how it's going to look. So I even I even put a grill in the front. To reused one of the grills that it came with. Um, so I'll show you how to do uh, this. Uh, it's super easy. It's just you got to buy one extra part if you're going to put use the uh, use this for the Xbox Series X. So in order to complete this project, you're going to need a set of AC Infinity fans or any kind of fan. These are these uh, are you plug them in with USB. You're going to need some screws that are uh, some bolts or screws that are long enough to get through both sets of fans and through the cabinet for the back of the cabinet. The back of the cabinet is pretty small. I'm going to say it's about an eighth of an inch. So th they don't have to be too super long. Uh, I think I think these are about two and a half inches long, these screws. Obviously, you're going to need nuts and washers as well. Uh, they're over here. And you're going to need, uh, again, a drill, the fans, uh, screws and washers and nuts, and a four inch uh, drill. You know, I don't know, I actually don't know, like a saw drill cutter that makes a four inch hole out of things. So you're gonna need one of these. So you can get these on Amazon pretty cheap. I think I paid like 10 to $15 for this thing. So yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is remove these little rubber parts here. I'm gonna use a drill, I'm gonna use a, a drill to make it faster and just remove them really quickly. Move the screws. Really quickly. Move all the screws. Obviously that's gonna, you'll take the grill off as well. And I'm gonna do that to the both fans. So it's kind of hard to see, but a lot of all these computer fans tell you the direction that the air will be flowing. So make sure that your, uh, the arrows are pointing the direction you want the air to go. So as you can see, it's here. They really put it on a really tough spot on these, uh, fans, but usually they're right in the middle of the of the chassis there. So last time I think I used the four incher, but I, I'm actually looking at it now and, in, and I think the five inchers might work better. So as you can see, this is the four inch uh, drill bit and it, you know, it doesn't quite cover the whole hole. So I think this time I'm going to up it up and go to the five incher. Uh, that might work better here. It, it is a little bit bigger than the hole, but again, I think eventually, I think it'll actually flow a little better. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with five inches this time. 
uh, since hot air rises, you're gonna wanna go to the top of this cabinet here. So I'm gonna uh, probably go, I'd say about an inch from the top. Try to give you the best view I can. So I got a pretty good start there. So I'm, I'm just gonna kind of do it off camera cause it's uh, uh, hard for me to you know, hold the camera and do it. So, but there, uh, my guess, my suggestion is just take your time and try to make it as clean a cut as you can. So obviously it uh, didn't come out perfect. There's a bit of a, uh, yeah, it, the, uh, I guess a little bit of the veneer came out, but you know, it's it's okay, it's on the back. And maybe some of the, the actual plastic from the uh, fans will cover it up a little bit. So it shouldn't be so bad. So now I'm just gonna get in here and vacuum all the sawdust out and that's it. And then I'll start installing the fans. So I just measured, uh, I just checked out the fan width and uh, I would, next time, if I ever had to do this again, I would probably stick with the four inch hole like I did for the Xbox Series X. It's just a little big. It may flow better in the long run to have the bigger hole, but it, uh, it you know, it doesn't, uh, there are slight tiny little gaps on each corner of the hole, which I don't think is a big deal. Uh, again, it may flow actually better, but, uh, the Xbox Series X one at four inches is fine. If you want a cleaner look, then maybe go with four inches. So I'm gonna use another fan. Uh, I'm gonna use another fan as a template here uh, so I don't, uh, uh, I don't wanna, you can use the same fans that you came with, but I'm just gonna try to match, uh, drill these guys up as best as I can. And I'm gonna use this fan as a, to, to actually drill those little holes to make the, to put the screws in. So I, I used a little piece of tape to, let me keep the fan exactly where I want it. So now I'm gonna just drill the pilot holes to get through. I'm gonna drill the last pilot hole. There you go. Got four little holes there now. And I just got a, I got a slightly bigger bit to, cause I need holes that are big enough for the screws. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this in stages is cause I don't want to I don't want there to be a lot of play in the screws. So let's see if this finally does it. Okay. Yep, there we go. And it's not, they're not, it's not terribly loose. Okay, so now we can actually uh, start putting our fans in. I, uh, again, plastic, this plastic uh, like uh, bracing, you want it out on both sides, obviously. If you don't do that, then you're kind of defeating the purpose. Uh, again, and I also pointed this, the cables to go down because I'm actually gonna run them down into a little hole. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna put the grill on top. So this is kind of the tricky part. You're gonna want, you can need to line everything up perfectly so for this to work. So it's gotta go through both fans there. So there's one. I'm just gonna drill a bigger hole and I, cause I, I just I just lined up the old, uh, the other one, the other uh, fan that I used to, to mark everything and the and the new ones and they mark, they match up just fine. So I just think it's an alignment issue. So I'm gonna just try to make slightly bigger holes. Give me a look. Hopefully it. So I finally got it to fit. I had to make the hole substantially bigger until it actually fit. Um, again, um, this isn't an exact, I mean, I'm sure some, some folks out there could just do this one shot. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, it's only the second time I've done this thing. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and let me screw in the nuts on the inside now. So yeah, I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna, put the grill on here 
so I got I got the grill on now I got to get the washers and um, and nuts on and then screw it down and that should be it there wasn't enough uh, length in the screws for washers as well so I just went straight to the nuts and it's working okay um, so if you want to play it safe just get a three inch bolt and instead of it I went two and a half because I didn't want any, I wanted to keep it as snug as possible. And it, it definitely did work. But again, uh, it, was, it was a little too close. So if you want to play it safe, just get a three inch bolt instead. Now it really does pay if you have somebody to help you to like uh, hold the nuts with a, like a socket. So while you, somebody else tightens it in the back. Uh, obviously I'm doing it on my own, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. But now all you have to do is tighten the nuts or so have somebody hold the nuts with a with a socket and tighten the rear with a screwdriver and then you should be good to go. And then you can just plug it into the PS3, PS5, and I'll show you how to do that. So I just plugged uh, I plugged uh, the, the fans into a battery bank here just to test it out. And they're working, as you can see. Here, I can turn them on, that's low. Let me put them on high. I mean, that is a solid amount of air coming out. That is a lot of air. So that'll, that should definitely keep the PS5 nice and cool. Now I'm just gonna remove the PS5 and, and uh, set it up to be, to stand up vertically. And remove any power cables and such, ethernet cable, which I highly recommend. And now I'll, uh, I'll set it up to stand it up. There it is. If you've never seen how to set up a set a PS5 up to make it stand vertically, you got to remove this little piece of plastic here, and and then you just screw in the uh, base. Sony is really clever. I mean, uh, I was like, where the hell is the screw that you screw into the console? And then you turns out you gotta you gotta turn the space, and then the screw's hiding in there. I mean, who else, who, what other company would think of this? I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm guessing you just, I guess you just align it. I guess it doesn't really grab onto anything in the back, but I guess that's what the screw's for. Let's put the screw in. Now, now, the, now it's ready to stand up. All right, so now I'm just gonna move some power, uh, move the power cables into a little hole I have down here, which not the prettiest, but it does the job. Uh, there. <laughs> Power cable. Ethernet cable. And the HDMI cable that came with the console. Hopefully that's long enough. And now I'm also gonna fish in the USB to power the new fans that I just installed. There. Now I'll just pull that from the other side. So it should be enough slack to connect everything. Here's the moment of truth. Will it work? Let's see. Ooh, it's turning on down there. Let's see if the fans were uh, working as well. Ooh, we got air. Look at that. So yeah, this will definitely keep the PS5 nice and cool. In a cabinet that was not meant to have like a, a console or any kind of piece of equipment so this uh should suck all the hot air out i gotta admit it does look kind of cool to have the ps5 vertical and then i got the series x over there also in the same orientation uh, it's almost like it's meant to be i can kind of give you a wide shot there of how it looks and both of the consoles are nice and cool because of this uh cooling fan it took me like two hours to do this and um i guess it I went a lot slower because I'm actually trying to film it and it's not a lot of space back there. But yeah, you, sh you should probably get this, be able to get this done in an hour or so. I don't think it's like a 10 minute job kind of thing. It's gonna take you a bit, especially if you've never done it before. Most importantly, it does the, do the fans turn off when I turn the console off. So I'm gonna turn the PS5 off. I'm just gonna turn it off. And the fans are spinning down as I expected. So there you go. Uh, no special sensor, uh, no special heat sensor needed. Uh, just turn off the PS5 and the fans will turn off every time. I guess I wanna see if uh, the fans keep spinning in rest mode. So I'm gonna enter rest mode. Okay, so it looks like the PS5 is in rest mode now. So let's see if we got some fan action. No, 
So it looks like even in rest mode, the fan stopped spinning. Well, anyway, if you have any questions about my method, how I actually did the installation of the fans into my cabinet, feel free to leave them in the comments. It really helps the channel a lot if you can give this uh, video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel as well, it really helps, and I'll see you in the next one.